We're back and better than ever. Pats TV has returned for another year of top-notch coverage on all things Hillcrest High School. With the new year brings new programs like the Get On Board Days for ninth graders and the Improved Honor Code lessons written by our very own students. Friday Night Lights are back on. We've covered the first football games along with the highly anticipated commits of players Trey Ross and Jay Bramlett. And after introducing you to our new teachers, we'll see how some of our freshmen and seniors are feeling about the upcoming year. I'm Lauren. I'm Jalen. And this is your Pats, Pats TV. TV. Freshmen are pretty lost when it comes to high school. This year we've created Get On Board Day to try to help them out. It's a tabling fair that showcases all Hillcrest clubs and organizations available for freshman membership. Luke Hamner has all the details on this event. Two weeks ago in the library, the freshmen participated in an event called Get On Board Day, where a display of clubs such as Thespian, Honor Society, and HOSA were presented. And here's Coach Davis with the details. Get On Board Day is a day for freshmen to get to know the different clubs and organizations that we have here at school. It is important because if freshmen don't get involved the first year they're here, they might wait two more years to get involved when it's the cool thing to do. But there's a lot of people that who care and want you to grow and here's your chance to just enjoy people that enjoy what you enjoy and do it together. And speaking of student involvement, our assistant principal, Ms. Morrow, has led the students on the Honor Council in the formation of new character education lessons. That process and the official Honor Code signing held last Wednesday are also being covered by Luke Hamner. Hey Hillcrest, for the past three years we've been doing the Honor Code, but this year we're doing something a little different, and here's Ms. Marr to tell us about it. Well, character education has been on Wednesdays during enrichment for the last three years, uh, but this year we decided to do something with it that was very, very different and it is very student-centered. We're letting the students who are members of the Honor Council actually author the lessons from top to bottom and then they're also going to be presenting the lessons. I think after a while students kind of get tired of listening to adults and so this is going to be a nice breath of fresh air. So we're really excited about it and I think it's going to be uh, an experience where there's going to be a lot of people talking to one another about how to improve character education at Hillcrest High School. SGA is sponsoring our Go Gold Week to raise money to help fight childhood cancer. You may donate a dollar to get a gold ribbon from your first period teacher. The top two classes will receive a Krispy Kreme donut breakfast. School yearbook photos will be taken Wednesday, September 19th in the theater. You will receive information packets for more details in first period. Additions to our school aren't just in the form of new programs and lesson plans. We also have new teachers. Hope Neely will introduce them to you. <laughs> Chris, I'm sure many of you have seen some new teacher faces around the school. Pat's TV got the opportunity to speak with a few of them. Let's see what they have to say. I want to be a teacher so I can serve the community and teach kids a little bit about business and prepare them for their life after high school. I went to the University of Montevallo and graduated in 2005 with a Bachelor's of Business degree. And then I've been going back for the last couple of years for the Master's of Education. So it's good. I like everybody. The kids are nice and the teachers are nice. and I love being here right now. Uh, well, going through school, I had a lot of great teachers who helped shape my life and made me stay out of doing some of the wrong things in life and made some good decisions, so I hope to be able to pass that along. Uh, so I went to school at the University of Alabama. Uh, as a Tuscaloosa native, it was just kind of normal for me to go there. Went through school, worked through it, uh, played in the Million Dollar Band for a couple of years, um, stayed busy. Uh, right now, I'm in grad school at the uh, University of West Alabama doing some online classes, trying to finish up a master's degree. It's been great. I've, I really like um, Hillcrest. Uh, the students are fantastic, um, very well taken care of um, by the staff, 
Um, the administration has been very supportive as well. So uh, it's been a dream job so far. Um, so I, um, I got into teaching um, actually uh, by subbing at my daughter's school many, many years ago and just fell in love with it immediately and really didn't have any plans on teaching. So I was really kind of a poor college student and, um, and went to multiple institutions before I got my BS and I got my BS from JSU. And since then I've gotten a master's degree just recently at the University of West Alabama. Hillcrest has treated me great and I love the students here. It's an awesome place to be. It was my first choice. Wow, I know they're going to make Hillcrest even better. I'm Hope Neely reporting for Pats TV. Thanks Hope and welcome to the Patriot family everyone. Everyone's favorite season has arrived and no, we're not talking about fall. The recaps of our first football and volleyball games are reported by Madeline McCracken. Can we go back? This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. Hillcrest football and volleyball seasons are well underway. Let's take a look at how the teams are doing so far. The football team opened the season against the top 7A opponent, Spain Park. The Pats dropped the opener by a score of 24-14, but showed glimpses of brilliance, such as this double pass from Jay Bramlett to Christian Taylor to Sincere Gibson for a 32-yard touchdown. And it is caught by Sincere Gibson and a touchdown. No flags on the play, Brad. And this electrifying 94-yard kickoff return for a touchdown by Kaya Moore. Here's the kick. Fielded by Kaya Moore at the two-yard line. He'll bring it forward, 10, 15-yard line, looking for a seam. He's across the 30, the 35, he the gone. 40. Kaya is loose. No he could be caught by the kicker, him. but probably Kicker's not. not catching 30 yard line, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Yes, and sir. touchdown, Kaya Moore on the ninth. The Pats bounce back in week two, defeating rival Tuscaloosa County 30 to 20. The offense took off in this game on plays such as this one. Nasir Boyd had two touchdown runs on the night, along with 130 yards rushing. Jay Bramlett also got in on the scoring action with this touchdown pass to freshman Terrence Callaway. The first region game of the season took place this past Friday night, with the Patriots falling behind 17-0 at halftime. 40, 35, 30, and he is gone. 10, 5, and touchdown, Golden Gophers. But Hillcrest fought back, taking the lead in the second half thanks to big plays such as this 54-yard punt return touchdown by Nasir Boyd. The 45, the 30, one man to beat. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and touchdown, Patriots. And this beautiful diving catch by receiver Christian Taylor. Looking down the left sideline, and this one is caught in the end zone. What a beautiful but the Patriots fell short as Hueytown scored with seven seconds left for the game winner. The team will host Brookwood in their second region game of the season this Friday night. Be there. Moving on to volleyball. The girls volleyball team has opened their season strong so far with a record of 8-6 and an area record of 1-0. The girls will play next Thursday night at Holy Spirit. I'm Madeline McCracken for Pats TV. Thanks Madeline. And reporting the commitments of Jay Bramlett and Trey Ross is Case Jacobs. Hello, Patriot Nation. In recent years, many Hillcrest High School football players have moved on to the next level, including Brian Robinson and Brandon Bishop at the University of Alabama, Jacquez Jones at Ole Miss, Kagan Campbell at Jacksonville State, and Cole Kaziah at UAB. However, this summer, two Hillcrest Patriots decided to take their talents to the next level. Trey Ross committed to Troy University, and Jay Bramlett committed to Notre Dame. Um, it didn't take me that long to figure out where I wanted to go, but uh... I was offered other scholarships for other schools and I didn't find what I found at Notre Dame. Uh, the campus is beautiful, um, the, the staff and the support system is awesome and uh, I couldn't ask for anything else, so that was, that was why I chose there. I was given the opportunity to, to go play football at a high level and it's also a high level of education and just a good opportunity for success after I finished college and going into my life after football. The process started kind of quick. Uh, I went to a couple of camps over the summer and I just started getting offers at camps and getting mail and stuff like that. I felt comfortable at their campus and around their players and coaches. But hopefully I play on early on. Hopefully I get on the field sometime as a freshman. Hopefully I get there and win. I think they both are great. Uh, you know, Trey's going to be a fantastic offensive player. He had opportunities to, to play at the next level as a defensive player, even though he doesn't play 
on the defense here. Um, you know, but I think he will do great because of the kind of person that he is and the work ethic that he has. And the same thing with Jay. I mean, he's going to have an opportunity to go in and compete um, and, you know, for a job as a freshman. And, again, either he's going to get it done or he's not. But it's on him, and he understands that. So, again, I'm really excited for both of them. I mean, I think both of them deserve it. I think both of them work really, really hard uh, to earn every opportunity that they get. And the thing that sets both of them apart is the work that they do. Most people never see it. Uh, because they're committed to excellence. They're committed to working hard when nobody's making them do it. And, you know, that's what gives people great opportunities both athletically and academically. We've got to have guys that know where they want to go and what kind of player they want to be. And there's here, come on, let's go. This is where we're going. This is who we're going to be. This is how we're going to do it. Um, and, you know, we've got enough people that are followers. We need people that are willing to step out and be leaders in everything that they do. Here's to their success at the collegiate level. With Pats TV, I'm Case Jacobs. Go Pats! An exciting year is ahead of us, and we're interested in seeing how our underclassmen and upperclassmen differ in the opinions on returning to school. The next segment, produced by Vanna Smalley, portrays the opposite perspectives that freshmen and seniors take. So, what are you looking forward to most this year? I'm excited about everything at Hillcrest. I'm excited about going to all the football games. I want to get all A's. I'm going to do Hillcrest theater, choir, everything. So what are you looking forward to most this year? Walking across that stage and getting my diploma. Graduating. Uh, graduate, duh. Well, what else besides graduating? Hmm. hmm. My year has been great. I thought that it was going to be really hard, and it is, but I get to see so many people now, and the teachers are really nice, and I like the stuff we're learning. Um, it's long, like, too long. Like, where's Christmas break at? <laughs> like, oh gosh, I'm, I'm ready for this year to end. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Like, when's the next off day? Uh, actually, I think we have a four day weekend. Next week. Really? Oh my gosh. Let's go. My year, I've had a lot of work and a lot of homework, but like, it's amazing because I still get all the freedom and I feel like an adult and I just, it's so, it's stressful, but it's great. Like, it gets my adrenaline going. I mean, I've been so unprepared this year. Like, I haven't gone, like, back to school shopping since, like, freshman year. I ain't got nothing on me. I ain't got nothing. People keep stepping on my white shoes, you know, people walk way too slow. They need to come on, I've been using paper, asking and borrowing for pencils since the first day, bro. Like, I'm not even playing. Hey, bro, you got a pencil? Yeah, hold on. There you go. Thank you. Hey, whatever. Come on. You see this? You see this? I'm not even playing. Are you excited for football season starting? I'm so excited. I want to go to every game. I can't wait to be in the student section cheering as loud as I can. So excited for football season because I get to cheer and we've been learning band dances and cheers and I get to put on my uniform and do band dances and just have so much fun with my friends. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, yes. I can't wait. All the games, I'm going to go to all of them, and I can't wait to cheer them on. I'm going to be so loud. I mean, I'm a little drained, because, like, tired just ain't the word. But, like, I mean, I guess. I mean, I'm ready to play county high. That's about it. I mean, I was freshman year, because, you know, you're a freshman. But now, as a senior, you have other stuff to do. You know, it's pretty tiring. And stressed out to have like all this money to pay for these tickets and you have other things that, you know it's <laughs> what about the dress up days oh the dress up days are gonna be great i'm gonna have a really fun big costume and everybody's gonna do it with me and all my friends we're gonna be babies at homecoming i'm so excited about the dress up days i've already gone to hoppy lobby dollar general walmart i've gotten all my outfits planned out i'm so excited you know, I tried so hard to have school spirit. Like, before, I was like, all right, maybe we could do this. But now it's like, that's a lot of money that I don't have. And I'm trying to save up for college, you know. But, like, at the same time, that's too much. They're all right. But it's like, you forget it one day. And they're like, Chris, you don't have any type of school spirit at all. I'm just like, OK, whatever. 
What's your best tip for staying calm and organized in a school environment? Oh, okay, so you gotta get a planner. Planners are a lifesaver. Every time you get an assignment, the first thing you need to do is write it down in your planner. And then have like so many dividers. You need a divider for each section, each little thing. And then you need each color highlighter. You can highlight every sentence. Make sure to do it a different color because it, it really helps. People don't think it helps, but it does. It makes a difference. Well, I have 14 different color highlighters and I highlight all the different things like metaphors and similes and imagery and everything else I could possibly think of in a different color to help me stay organized. And then I make two study guides for at least every test so I can study it two ways. And I have a planner that I go by day by day and I write down everything I might need to know. Finally, which graduating class is the best? 2022. 2019, of course. 2019, baby. 2022. 2022. 2019. <laughs>seniors were spot on. My senioritis has already kicked in. Mine too, and I'm a junior. But graduation will be here before we know it. So let's cherish the time that we've got together. Right, Lauren? Right, Jalen. From all of us here at Pat's TV, we wish you a successful school year. I'm Lauren. And I'm Jalen. And that was your Pat's, Pat's TV. TV.